Right guys, so we're going to be talking what's bad and what's good for your game in today's lesson. I'm Matt Fryer and welcome to a brand new golf lesson. So, what's bad for your game? Number one, getting straight out of the car, not even having a practice, coming onto the first tee and just giving the ball a whack. No thought of what shot you're actually going to be hitting, no pre-planned swings, no even stretching your muscles. Remember, when we're actually swinging the golf club, we're moving it at quite a fast speed and it's quite a intricate skill so if we've not had any pre warm-up swings or even little chips and everything the chances of us actually getting a good shot away not only on the first tee it's probably going to take us four or five holes to get warmed up but let's see how it pans out anyway not too bad but didn't feel like my quickest swing ever as opposed to i know we all are time restricted nowadays but if we can spend a little bit of time of practicing depending on what facilities you've got down at the course you're playing it might be a chipping green might be a putting green you might have a full practice ground or a range there but if you can just lend 10 to 15 minutes to get yourself warmed up get yourself in the frame of mind for the lesson uh, sorry for the round of golf that you're about to play then hopefully you should hit the ground running not wasting those first crucial holes to get your feel and get your flow you'll actually get on the first tee feeling confident that you're ready to go and actually start to play some better golf so let's go and find out what else is bad and what else is good for our games okay so the second bad thing for our games is not playing to our strengths or even to our shot shape so here on the second hole at formby ladies it actually requires the shot i would normally hit a little fade but like most golfers that come into my bay they want to hit that draw the sort of the the tour shot the special shot so on here if i attempted to try and hit the draw now there is far much more trouble down the right hand side so that lends itself to me not being comfortable with the shot anyway because I don't normally play it and if I were to try and attempt it my actual belief and commitment to that swing isn't going to be the best so I bring all the trouble in down the right hand side if I pull it off it might be luck more than anything if I don't I'm in a world of trouble for no reason as where well, if I were to actually accept to know what type of drive i hit or what my normal shot shape is i can put myself in a far better position so the good thing is knowing what type of shot you generally hit and playing to it play to your strengths if you struggle drawing it and even if you the rule i'd sort of live by would be the one that jack nicholas talked about that was if you can't pull the shot off in practice with ease and you're not comfortable doing it in practice when it gets to tournament time or out on the course probably not the time to do it so stick to what you know and actually play with your shot shape so for here I'm going to aim it down the left hand side of the rough the winds off the left hand side today I usually play a little bit of a fade so I'm going to allow for this ball to drift back and play my normal shot shape aim up down the left allowing some curvature some space for some curvature on my ball and commit to that swing nice and then just safely down the fairway there perfect good shot there that you hit down the last there mate brilliant that Ooh. you see what happened the other night anyway in the golf unbelievable unbelievable wasn't it oh god can't believe that's happened Another bad thing for our golf games is having no routine and not actually getting back into our concentration zone. Like there, we both walked up, plonked our bags down, still carrying on the conversation and I've not even taken into account the shot I was facing. I didn't take into account the wind, where the, um, where the bunkers were near the green, the yardage, what club it was, I just sort of grabbed one randomly and hit it. So on the flip side, what would be good for the game would be that if we were to rewind the clocks and once we've put our bags down we sort of have a zone we get into we go through our routines we have a practice swing I'm not saying that it has to be the longest routine in the world but we just have sort of conversation time then we have go time as we're going here and as we cross that border we get into it we focus and then as soon as the shot's done you can step back out of that zone and go back to talking with your mates or whatever it may be so from here I now know that I've got 130 yards, the wind's slightly behind me, so 
straight away that isn't the right club there not my 99 i need my pitching wedge there's two bunkers to the right of the green and the right of the flag so i'm just going to air down the left hand side hit a little holding cut on the wind let's go through this pick my target get myself lined up last little waggle then pull the trigger and straight away a lot better golf shot there found the green and we're putting from there so another thing that is good for our golf making sure we actually concentrate on the shot at the hand don't keep chatting with your mates just take a little bit of time to focus and start thinking about what the task at hand is guys i hope you've enjoyed this little series here i'm going to be carrying these on so i'll be doing things that are good for us at the range things that are good tech wise and a lot more things that are good and bad for our golf so comment down the below what do you think's bad for the game or your golf and what do you think's good for our golf hit those comments and as always do remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next golf lesson